Hi friends, it's teacher Laura here. Today I want to do an art project with you using materials that you might already have at home. So what you're going to need are watercolors, you're going to need table salt, and glue. And I made these watercolors using food coloring and water because I didn't have any watercolor paint at home. And teacher Patty did a video a while back showing you how to do that if you want to go revisit that. So for the paper that you're going to need, you can use watercolor or cardstock paper. If you don't have that, you could use a paper plate or you could use one of my favorite things, which is recycled materials. So sometimes I will save my old cereal boxes or snack boxes or freezer, freezer meals and I'll reuse the cardboard that they come in. So let's see what I have. Do I have one that I got from a cupcake box and I have one that I got from a popcorn box. And I think for today's project, I'm gonna use this one. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna take your glue bottle and you are just gonna make whatever design you want on your paper. So for my design, I think I'm gonna make some swirls. Let's see here. Maybe one more big one. Yeah, I think I like that. And I'm gonna close my glue bottle. So you don't wanna to put too much glue on your paper, but just enough to make kind of a cool design. So then you're gonna take your salt and you can use your hand to scoop the salt for a fun sensory experience, or you can use a spoon, which is what I think I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take my salt and I am just going to sprinkle it all over my glue. And don't be afraid to use a lot of salt because you're gonna shake it off in a minute and whatever is left over, you can just reuse. So you see how I'm kind of covering most of my glue up now. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, and a grown up might need to help you with this part, is I'm gonna take my paper and I am going to shake all of the extra salt right off of it. And now you have your design which is ready to be painted. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my watercolors and I'm gonna kind of dab them all over. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're wanna, gonna wanna get enough watercolor on your paintbrush where you can make a good drip and watch what happens. Ooh, do you see how that's kind of starting to spread once it hits the salt? Let's try it again. Oop, that one wasn't as good. Maybe I need a bigger drip, let's see. Ooh, there we go. So the bigger the drop of watercolor, the more you're gonna have that cool spreading effect. So I am just gonna keep on dabbing this all over my glue. Now for this, you could also use a, like an eyedropper or a pipette, but I don't have one of those at home. So I was just choosing to use a paintbrush. So I think I'm gonna add another color. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna add my blue next. Ooh, I like when the colors kind of blend together a little bit too. Let's put some glue over here. Maybe some over here. I love to watch the way it travels through the salt and the glue. Let's do a few more, maybe two more of my blue and then I'm gonna move on to, let's see, what else should I use? Ooh, maybe some yellow next. Oh yeah, I like how that looks. I want that little bit of blending between the colors. Now look, do you see how that blue and yellow mix together to kind of make green? How fun is that? Let's see, let's do a few more drops. And I think I'm gonna end with my green, even though I kind of already made my own green with that blue and yellow. Oh, cool. Let's see. Where else do I need to paint? Right here maybe, and here. Oops, don't worry if you drop on the cardboard or the paper, it'll dry. All right, so anywhere else I miss, you see? What about right over here, maybe here? All right, so I think it is done for now. And I love the colors, how they kind of started to blend together a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take this 
and we're gonna put it somewhere to dry for a few hours. Now, when it dries completely, some of the salt is going to fall off, so you wanna make sure you give it a good amount of time to dry, and when it feels dry to the touch, kind of brush some of the extra salt off of the top, and when you display this, you might wanna do more of a lean display versus right up on the wall, because some of the salt will, over time, start to fall off a little bit. But it should stay together for quite a while. And I want to show you, I made a practice one just the other day. And you can kind of see how some of the salt falls off, but it still has that cool kind of crystallized effect. And it will stay like this for uh, quite a while. So I'm going to go put this somewhere to dry. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. All right, my friends, so it is all dry now. I brushed all the extra salt off and I'm loving the way it turned out. I hope this is a project you can do at home and you had fun. Thanks for joining me.